Hello, I'm Dr. Amy Sisson, Yolo County's Health Officer, and I'd like to take a moment to talk about groups newly eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. As more data becomes available about who is most at risk for coronavirus infection and severe disease or death from COVID-19, state guidelines for vaccine prioritization have changed. Starting March 15th, individuals between the ages of 16 and 64 with certain severe health conditions will be eligible to receive a COVID vaccine. These conditions include cancer, stage four or higher chronic kidney disease, chronic pulmonary disease requiring oxygen, Down syndrome, immunocompromised state from solid organ transplant, pregnancy, sickle cell disease, certain heart conditions, severe obesity, and type two diabetes that is poorly controlled. In addition, residents with a developmental or severe high risk disability are also eligible as of March 15th to get the vaccine. Verification of having one of these high risk medical conditions or disabilities requires only self attestation that you meet the eligibility requirements, which can be done at the site of the vaccine clinic. In addition to those with severe medical conditions and disabilities, the state has also expanded its definition of emergency services workers eligible for vaccine to include utility workers who respond to emergencies, public transit workers, janitors in non-healthcare settings, and disaster service workers activated for emergency response. The state has also indicated that residents of high-risk congregate settings, like homeless shelters and jails, will be eligible for vaccine, while also expanding vaccine eligibility to those who work as massage therapists and librarians starting March 15th. These newly added groups join healthcare workers, people who are 65 and older, workers in food and agriculture, workers in education and childcare, and other emergency services workers in being eligible for vaccines. Starting on March 15th, many more people will be eligible for vaccine, but there won't be any more vaccine supply right away. We will not have enough doses to immediately vaccinate everyone who is eligible. So I ask for your continued patience as we vaccinate residents. It will take time to vaccinate everyone who is eligible. A big thank you goes out to you for your patience thus far and to our healthcare providers and volunteers who've been amazing and a huge part of why we've been able to administer first doses to 20% of Yolo County residents already. For more information about Yolo County's COVID-19 vaccine process, please visit www.yolocounty.org slash coronavirus dash vaccine. Thanks for listening.